Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 3 of my King Tiger and Berg Panzer diorama build. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like and ring my bell. That would be brill, thank you. To begin with, I'm going to be shoving sticks in the holes. Oi, cheap seats, stop tittering. Shoving the sticks in the holes of the wheels so I can get them primed. So let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. They're all done and in my homemade clamp stand, ready for priming. Next some gluing. Here I'm doing the rear of the King Tiger where the exhausts are and brackets, so let's crack on. Out with the sprue glue to fill those extrusion marks in. There we go, that's them filled in. We'll pop those to one side to dry. They'll also need another filling as the sprue glue tends to shrink a bit. So while that's drying, let's crack on with some of the internals. These are the brake drums. Many apologies for the glare there from the uh, plate and the PE. I was going to do the PE on these, but I thought I'd better let them dry first. Anyway, now to crack on with the hydraulic shock absorbers. You may notice that sometimes I'm using a flat metal file rather than a sanding stick. I personally prefer to use this on flat surfaces as I can get a better flat finish than with a sanding stick. That's the sanding done, and now for some gluing 
using my extra thin quick drying cement. One down, only three to go. Please feel free to jump ahead as they all go together exactly the same way. There we go, number four done. Oh, there you are guys, thanks for joining back. Anyway, let's leave those to dry and swiftly move on to cleaning up the brake drums. Then once we've done those, we can do the hydraulic shock, shock absorbers too. Cool, that's easy for me to see. So anyway, let's crack on. There we go, that's the shocks all cleaned up. Now to put that PE on the brake drums.
There we have the PE on the brake drums. Let's pop those and the shocks to one side and move on to some more of the internals. Here I'm using different types of skewers to support the parts during priming. It's at this point I realised I'd lost a part. There should be four of those, not three. Looks like I'm going to be doing a bit of scratch building later on. Oh well, here we go again. Oh, here we go again. Oh, let's get this bloody thing found. I know it's easier to cut another bit, but I think if you find a first, you'll find the rest. Allegedly. Found it. And there we have a one scratch built, um, whatever it is. And on that note, I think we'll end it here. So, thank you very much for watching episode three. If you want to see what happens in episode four, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modeling.